OK, we're back. Sorry about that. Sometimes the computer just needs a reboot, which is what I had to do. So I was showing you earlier uh, weekly was my choice for fun and you guys might choose daily. That is totally fine. And then I go to the next my future job. I did all kinds of silly things over here. Um, you're going to choose from a mover, a helper or a creator. So a mover makes $400, um, but then it tells you what it's like to be that worker. So, you know, these are the things you have to do and this is the type of person you have to be. So you, to be a uh, mover, you have to be a good listener, follow directions and work hard. If that is not you, then I would not suggest picking that one. To be a helper, you have to be a good listener, follow directions, be a good reader, writer and mathematician and work hard. Um, that one would make $600 a month and a creator is 800, but it says they have to love learning, be creative, brave, read a lot, love challenges, be a problem solver, ask important questions and work hard. So for me, I'm not super creative. So I'm going to say helper because I think I'm a good listener. I follow directions. I like to read and write and do math and I don't mind working hard. So I'm going to choose helper for me. Um, and that was the one that makes $600 a month. I chose this job. I chose this job because I like to help people. And I don't mind working hard. You might have different reasons and you might choose a different job. That's totally fine. We need all kinds of people, right? So how do I know that I can do this job? Look at the bottom box and make sure you have those skills. So like I said, I was kind of saying in the top one, um, I, I am a good listener. And I work hard, comma, so I think I would be able to do this job. You don't have to write a ton, just a sentence, possibly two. And remember, if you run out of room, highlight it. Don't hit backspace or any other button. You would just look, it has it there too, but I like to be safe and go up here. I can shrink it or I can change the number here. Okie dokie. So there's my future job. All I did was uh, the same thing that's over here. I just have it have you writing on the side because we can't edit the worksheets once they're on here. Then we go to my future budget. So we've already made these choices on different pages. So like with this one, it says your choice. Home and the cost. Remember, I chose the quad because my boys need their room and I said that one costs five hundred dollars a month. Was that it? Uh, vehicle, I chose the mini. Sorry for getting so close to the screen. I have to read it over there. And it was $100 a month. My food plan I chose was the Tasty. And that one was $100 a month. And my fun plan was weekly. And that one is $50 a month. So if I add up all my expenses, I have 500 plus 100, that's 600, 100 more, 700, and my $50 plan, 750 is what I would spend a month. Oh, but if you remember, my job as the helper, my job as the helper, I chose helper, and they actually only make $600 a month. Uh-oh, I see a problem here. My expenses were $750 every month, but I'm only making $600 a month. So, oops, my choice now is to either pick a smaller option up here, something that like, okay, maybe I can live without this and um, bring my monthly expenses down, or I need to see if I can actually be a creator and make the $800 a month. And I know for a fact I'm not super creative, so I think I'm gonna change my home instead of being quad, I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to change it to the pod. I believe that should help me make a better choice. So I'm going to go pod. I'm going to go. And that one was only 300. So as you see, as I'm changing things, I have to go back and make sure I fix each thing. So now I have 300 plus 100 is 4. 400 plus one more is 5. 500 plus 50 is 550. And I make $600 as the helper. So, whoopsies, 
$550. So I make $600. My monthly expenses are $550. Yes, it still works, but it doesn't leave me a lot to work with. So I'm going to put it down here. So I have $600 as my income, and I subtract my expenses. So that's the $550 up here. Should probably put dollar signs here. Um, and then, so what money? So 600 minus 550. Hopefully, you're doing that math in your head and you're like, come on, Miss Five. It should be $50. That only leaves me $50 left to toy around with for the week, um, which isn't a lot, but that's okay. This should be perfect. You should be good to go. Um, what you're going to do is save all that, but don't turn it in. And then um, tomorrow, we actually, as long as you got this set up where you have a little bit of money left to play with, um, tomorrow when we do a little simulation, it should work out beautifully for you. So don't forget to save. Don't turn in. If you do turn it in, I'm gonna, I'll send it back to you so you are able to edit. All right, I am excited and hopefully see you soon and get started on your own simulations. All right, bye.